So don't worry, the Afghanistan video is on its way, it just needs a lot of time to edit, of course, but I did run into a couple of snags, uh, mainly the, the merch I was going to sell. Oh, I got banned from eBay permanently. No reason given. V very cool. Thanks, eBay. So I'm probably going to end up giving away the merch in exchange for people subscribing on Subscribestar. But until then, I thought I'd just entertain you with uh, tales of trying to talk to the tolerant left, of all things. Y yeah, I know, it was a waste of time, it was funny. Because I decided to go to the Badman's event, and if you're not British and you don't know who the Badman is, you'll, you'll probably quickly find out from someone in the comments. Uh, you can only find him on Getter these days. It's a hint, so go over there if you want to see what he was producing and showing that day. However, I've always gone to these events that he's been doing and checking out both sides, and I've always kind of enjoyed going to the communist side, which might sound weird, but I genuinely enjoy listening to their side of the arguments, even if I uh, strongly disagree with much of their dribble. This time I decided to turn up in my Afghan gear with a mate and just have a chat, and uh, apparently they had now decided that they no longer wanted to be filmed or seen, because presumably this would make people dislike their movement. Hello. What? God bless the fish out. No, I don't must <laughs> <don't know. laughs> I don't mean to intimidate you. With my prowess. <laughs> this camera's heavy to hold. You only came to say hello. Huh? I don't think you should be chasing someone and harassing them meters from your protest, do you? The nasty smell that dude, isn't it? The very nasty smell. Can you smell something really horrible? Oh, shit. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? it smells like Hitler's bunker. I wouldn't it's... know what that smelled like. <laughs> your fascists must know that. <laughs> Get anywhere, are you? Mm -hmm. you won't, ever. Uh, There's nowhere to get. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. You've got COVID now, have you? Oh, no, you don't believe no, me. No, no, you? You, you, you come here and you stand in silence, but you're getting somewhere where everyone else You're is nobody, not. mate. You're nothing. You never will be. I don't care. I'm not in this for fate. Don't you miss it? I don't know, but I'll <laughs> give a crap. Wow. Uh, Absolute nobody. Okay. We don't have to be somebody. Like, what's wrong with that? I'm not fair. Stand is that what you do as well? You want to be a somebody? Stand together. Give you power? Yes. Make so you feel where, power? Where we, we did try to reason with some of them, and then also played a game with one of them. It's literally your guys with their banners. It's not, it's not the... Do people see people with your banners? They'll make them not like them, or...? No, just a drone, just those orders, a cold. What's that go wrong in the 20th century? <laughs> NPC. <laughs> when I say we go up, we go up. When I say we go down, we go down. Oh, ah, no. Does it, you're only afraid of people seeing it if you think people seeing it will make them dislike it. So you think people seeing Stand Up To Racism signs will make people dislike Stand Up To Racism? That's the logic of censorship. Happy with the logic? Yeah. Good to know. You admit you're a nobody, you're a loser. I don't care about being a somebody. <laughs> Would you like to go to Afghanistan with me next time? The Taliban have the same views on censorship, if you're wondering. Except they're actually more favourable to my camera, which is funny. You want this again? What's that? Can't oh, wait to see that video. It's not much, is it? Right? It's not much to see here, is it? It's just a nice shot with all the bands. I'm just watching it, it'd be great. However, trying to explain the logic of censorship to these people just led to one of them getting angry at a photo on my phone and then deciding to assault me. These guys are more tolerant to photography than you are. Do you understand that? The blood thirsty carrot. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, hey, no. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. No need to 
Yeah. You saw that, though. He was winding them up, though, wasn't he? He was doing it. He's, He's trying to show people off. He's trying to show a picture from his He's... phone. It's going to happen, isn't it, if you don't do anything? Yes, because if I see an image, I just start attacking the person. Can I make this plate now or later? Just wait, I'll get some to take your details. Thank you. Do you think when we go and film the other one, they'll also assault Callum because he looks like a Muslim, because they're racist? Or do you think they just leave him alone? Bit ironic, isn't it? Turbans, though, are just smooth as hell. <laughs> That's what you want. Something about Afghan culture, you're like, none of that. None of that kind of talk. Okay. <laughs> what kind of head is doing it? Oh, we are going to go. I've explained it. Yeah, yeah, you're not listening. You you you're too you're nothing. You're nothing. <laughs> Again, why is that your goal in life? Yeah, okay. If you wanted to be you're something. You're a sad loser. So don't over like there. Okay, right. Oh, isn't publicity a good thing though? No, if it harms the cause. Smelly, isn't it? Really horrible smell. It smells like I say, it smells like Hitler's bunker did. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> they did eventually decide that they'd had enough of this and just stopped censoring themselves, which made the whole thing completely pointless, as is their nature, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Well done. Keep up the good work. So we moved along and uh, met a supporter and chatted about some of the more nonsensical things I found out when I was in Afghanistan. When I was in Afghanistan, I met loads of uh, guys who had trained the British Army and applied for asylum. And they're sat there and they show me their phones, long phones. They're like, you know, we worked with the army. You guys said we would get a place. What the f is going on? Like, why can't we get in? And it's heartbreaking because you have to sit there and show them the, the boat, right? Coming from all over the world. And you explain where they're from, like some of them from Pakistan, Morocco, and then, you see their faces, look at the pictures. I've never seen people more angry about the boat people than those Afghans. So like, they think Pakistan is unsafe. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I'm trying to get to Pakistan. <laughs> yeah, because it is tragic, because these guys, like they actually did train our guys, help us. And we haven't got a place for them, but we've got a place for a guy from, you know, Morocco, who's like, well, not many jobs. Or oh, Albania. Albania, yeah. And then on our way out, we did notice that the side flying the intersectional pride flag had also decided to pick up some children in their movement and recruit them to the cause. Very fitting. But then again, that was the day of trying to reason with the tolerant left. It was kind of neat to see the police, though, paying attention to the Badman's film when he started naming the names of bent coppers, though. Anyway, I'm filming this since I got back from the event today, and uh, it's like half ten, probably not the best time to film. If I look like sh because I feel it.